Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditec, C2 at DVS, and the sun is finally out here at HQ in Cardiff. So, what are we going to look at today? Before you go any further though, I need you to look at that subscribe and notify bell button, and I'm gonna wait. Callum, do something really funny. 2,000 years later. Anyway, now you've hit the subscribe button, which is vitally important, I'd like to thank everyone that has taken their time to do the subscribe and the like, the sharing, the commenting, and everything else that drives the content forward. So, last week we looked at how to recover the password of the Hike Vision IP cameras. This week it's another back to basics video, mainly because I'm going on holiday and I want to do something really quick. But all jokes aside, it's some feedback we continually get from you guys is how to do some of this basic stuff. So it is another back to basics video. Again, looking at the height vision range, when your customers had added the height vision NVR or DVR to the Height Connect app, which is common, it's the free app that you all use, very fantastic, no cost to it, very, very powerful. But from time to time, they lose their login details to the app or the head of security or somebody who looks after the CCTV moves on and it's linked to theirs, or it's an old recorder, the phone's gone, Nobody can get hold of the person who has got the Hike Connect app linked to their device or is simply a system takeover. And the quick and easiest way of how to unbind the device from the Hike Connect account, which allows you then to re-add it to a new Hike Connect account, which is a normal process and one that you guys um, really could benefit from seeing this, is through the local DVR or NVR interface. In front of me, I've got the standard uh, NVR interface is a GUI 4 interface and I'm going to show you quickly how to unbind a Hike Connect account so then you can quickly add it to a new Hike Connect account. Of course, as always, you will need the admin password to log into the device and see this uh, to realize the function of unbinding it from a Hike Connect account. So I'm going to move you closer and show you step by step how to do it. Very, very simple, few clicks and we can do it. So reposition the camera. And you can see there already, so let's move it up so you've got the full screen in the view. Screen in front of us, so we're going to go into the menu structure, so menu. Normally you would be prompted for the admin password at this point, I've turned that function off because it's in the demo room and I use it consistently so I don't want to keep putting the complex password in. So we're just going to go into the menu, so we simply go into system, go into the network, and then under advanced you've got platform access. Very, very simple. You can see there the account status is linked. If I click on unbind here, that will unbind this device from that Hike Connect account currently. And you were able then using that QR code to add it to the new Hike Connect account. Of course, you will need to know the video encryption, uh, which is there. Uh, you can simply over type that and click save. If you don't know what that is, simply update it and click save. It is a good measure from time to time to update that and click save. Then scan this QR code with the app and then you can use the verification password. If you've got stream encryption enabled, you will also need it for IMS 4200, Hike Central, etc., and also to view on things. So if you tick that, another layer of protection, but you will need to know that anyway. But you definitely need to know this for adding to the Hike Connect account. So simply unbind it, use the QR code to add it back to the new Hike Connect account with the verification code, job done. There's even, a tick box now where you click time sync and that will use high connect to time sync your recorder it really is as simple as that guys i'm not going to unbind it as i said i'm going on holiday and i need this device on my app that is how you do it i hope you find it helpful most of the gui 4 recorders now support that function if you've got any questions as always speak to your sales rep or get in contact with your dvs sales rep or uh, technical department here uh other than that Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week for another how-to video.